So Joe, when people are really looking at uh, you know, needing to sell their house and buy another one, what are the top three things that people need to know about you know, doing the whole mortgage process uh, to be able to get into the new home? So that's a pretty stressful, th that whole thing sounds good and fun and it becomes very stressful for right. the client, right? As, real, as real we well quick. know, real quick. Um, I, I think number one is getting things done early mm -hmm. and, and, and getting it scheduled out so that you know how much you can buy, how much you can afford, decreases the stress of the whole process because you're having them fix their house up and do things there. And, but if they'll do the mortgage piece up front, they know how much they can buy. They know that, uh, number one, keeping the stress out of the, of the process. Number two, they have a strategic plan when they leave our office, mm -hmm. knowing exactly what they can buy, how much money is going to come out of their home because you've right. done a great job with that, right? And then um, number three, do we want to put all that money into the home or do we want to put some of this into some type of investment portfolio that has a rate of return that might serve them better long term? So it's a discussion that you need to have with the client so we can help them make great short, long, short and long-term financial decisions. Um, over and above that, I, 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 I think that the timing, if you've got a home to sell, um, how do I sell this house and immediately move into the, the next one? Mm -hmm. Is there going to be a lease back? Have you thought about those terms? How long is it going to take you to get out of the home? All that stuff just creates stress in people's lives. And so having that homework done up front, I think, mitigates most of that and gives them a plan. And I think people work better when they have a plan of, 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 of attack on, on the next home purchase that they, they, they want to do, that they want to yeah, buy. Yeah, I, I, I really agree to have a good, clear strategic plan because when people have clarity, then that make I know for me personally, it makes it a lot more easier for me to be able to act. It, it really does. I mean, we do 200 transactions a year and, and I wish everybody would do their, their business up front and take care of it up front because it just, I see people go through a really stressful process, and those people who do it up front, who have a strategic plan on how they want to get out of this house, get this one sold, get into a new home, and know how it's going to fit in their budget, and how it's going to fit long and short term into their financial plan. I mean, the truth is, is that not everybody is making a 30-year decision. Most people change houses every six and a half years, right? Exactly. And so are we making a 30-year decision or are we making a 10-year decision? Right. And then how do we do that? Do we, are we going to have a lease back in this property or are we not? The, all that stuff can be discussed up front. Lay it out with you guys so that you know how to counsel your, your buyers. And we know we're all on the same sheet of paper. And it, it works really well that way. Exactly. And I think i just add one more thing about having the homework done up front. That way the, the, the client doesn't go fall in love with the property. They don't have all their homework done. And you know, they're not able to perform to be able to buy that house and they lose it. And then they have a hard time falling in love with something else because they're, you know, they're still in love with one they missed out. I would even give you a fifth reason, right? Okay. In today's market, you, it's been the last 33 months has been more buyers and sellers. and There's multiple offers on everything. If you have the time and you would have the time, if you were buying a house, selling a house today, making the decision, go ahead and get this loan completely underwritten from a credit standpoint. That way your offer looks better then the other offers are going to be on this property because if they fall in love with this property, there's only going to be one person that walks away with that contract, right? Right. And putting your best foot forward and elevating your offer to the top of the stack is paramount in today's more, uh, um, home buying process. It, it is the thing that's making, it's, it's making a difference in whether or not that borrower gets the contract mm -hmm. or doesn't. Yeah. And I think putting your foot, you know, I think that, that uh, putting your best offer and making it look the very best is is key to today's market. Exactly.